No, to which I respond, well, bec because I've sieged down all of your forts, you're literally like two months. You're literally like a two month job. Why aren't you giving me a hundred percent peace deal? And then we're going to have some problems. So. If I want him to be a bit more cooperative, I need to kill his army. Right, see ya, Fuzz! Right, France is on medium, though. I don't think I want to drag this war out for too long. Eventually, France is going to bring his troops over to mine. Then again, eventually, he's going to... Uh, it's going to be like a year's time, and then he's going to... Except the fact that uh, he's fucked, so... Alright, or that this war doesn't really mean anything. Now, if Persia didn't pick defensive ideas, I'm gonna be real sad. Okay, he did. Because, damn, these forts are taking a long ass time to siege down. Like, oh my god, they're taking a long time. Yeah, by the time it's August, he's probably going to accept my peace deal. If we can siege this province then, I'll just invade this in two waves. And we can. So we'll wait a pretty long time and then we'll send the second army in. Just to make sure I actually win that. Flurry Worry, can I be a mod, please? No. Nope. <laughs> Certainly not if you're gonna ask for it. Alright, there we go. The stack seems to be. the one with the most guys, so we'll have him uh... take care of this 25 stack. He's uh, apparently moving into desert here, and we're going to catch him. We're gonna catch him. We've got a 144, should be good here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Boom. And where's he gonna run off to? Yeah, I really do wonder about that. Where is he going to run off to? Important question, are you more Flory or Bory? I'm huh? more of a Flory kind of guy. I don't uh, worry. Well, I do worry about a lot of things, I just don't... Let people notice that I worry about things. Yes. What good does that ever do? I'm about to gain quite a bit of war score here, actually. If he sieges down that capital, I might be able to uh, 
ask for a bit more. Am I going to reform or stay as a horde? Uh, I'm staying as a horde and I'm not tacking past military tech 15. Man, Persia though, holy shit, these sieges, man. These fucking sieges, dog. This is just not funny anymore, holy shit, these take a long time. Why not? Because reforming is for pussies, real men stay as a word. Real men don't reform. Reforming is for the weak. Am I going to westernize? No, 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 no. Westernizing requires reforming, and I'm not doing any of that. Am I going to fight anyone with tech 15? <laughs> well, by using the tried and true war tactic of uh, throwing so many men at the face that eventually they drown in our blood. Is my colonial uh, nation a horde, or is it a horde uh, colonial government? No, it's a uh, Chinese tech... Chinese tech normal government. So my colonial nation just siege down this capital, so let's see what we can ask here. There you go, split that French Mexico in half, make my guy a bit stronger. Yeah, didn't want to have a very long war against France. In fact, that entire war was uh, not really the something I wanted. Tell you what though, I don't want to be paying you subsidies anymore. Should be a million and one stack, misleading title. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, the reality is better than the uh, expectation. <laughs> Man, these Persian forts though, holy shit, they take a long time. <sighs> so much bullshit. I got really lucky there. I got really lucky in Baghdad too. And I just smacked his army down, so I think it's time to make peace with uh, Persia. And guess what we'll be taking down first? These retarded, ridiculous, bordering on the insane forts.
Alright, so now we can finally fully focus on Moltan again. core whatever we whatever it is that we have to core and give some more lands to the hordes as they well and truly deserve Alright, if I give them one more province, my cavalry are going to be slightly cheaper. Why won't I go past military tech 15? Well, one is at a challenge. And uh, the second reason is because if I do go... If I every single time I up my uh, military tech, I get less power points from raising. So if I keep my military tech low, I get more technology from... Um, If I keep my military tech low, I get more technology from raising provinces. Khorasan's in the way. I don't have a truce with them and they don't have any allies, so... I think I'll go uh, take them out along the way. <laughs> yeah, that's a new uh, new mechanic, Jazz uh, Cans. Kashmir is also in the way. So staying dumb is the best way for a horde. Oh no, not at all. It's gonna... It's gonna bite you in the ass. But if we make a 1 million stack, military tech shouldn't matter anymore. So... For us... It, uh... It shouldn't matter, but in general, it, it will, and you probably shouldn't do this. I need to spend my paper mana. I don't need to spend my anything. I'm still stupid, so I can save up a whole lot of power before I need to spend it. How much regiments do I currently have? Oh, let's uh, take a look here. 143. Although, getting this inflation below 5% wouldn't actually be too much of a luxury here. If, it, uh, if you keep your inflation below 5%, you're less likely to get uh, bad events that are going to fuck you over. It is a good day, indeed. No, no, no. The cap for Western Nations is 999. The cap for uh, Eastern Nations is 1248. 
the cap for Chinese nations is fourteen ninety eight. The cap for these Indian nations is thirteen ninety eight, and the cap for hordes is seventeen forty eight. Uh, the same cap counts for um, uh, Native Americans. Well, that's pretty far from a 1,000 stack. Well, we're also pretty far from the... Uh, from the end of the game. I foresee no problems in uh, achieving our goals here. Laurie, what are you gonna do if Paradox integrates an achievement for a 1 million stack? Well, <laughs> just load this save file, of course. Achievements uh, get applied seven patches back. If I'm not mistaken. Kashmir. How about getting full annexed? But yeah, we're a long way away from even uh, getting all of our modifiers, so I'm not too afraid, to be honest. Words are definitely more advanced than Plains Indians. How? Explain that to me. Horse, bow, no interest in settling down. Worry making the headlines in the year 1663. <laughs> oh, come on, let's get the seats done. Otherwise, he wouldn't accept full annexation for sure. I can't ban a man for saying niggas, then what do I ban them for? Uh, I don't know, that's pretty sensitive, especially at this point of the um, evening. Is this like Americans? I don't know, I feel like that's a good thing to, to ban people for, I suppose. I don't <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> the hordes invented horses. Hordes bond planes Indian Zero. <laughs> Ban him for being ugly. Yeah, it's kind of difficult for me to... Uh, 
I don't know. The Netherlands is quite weird as far as that's concerned, though. So I don't really know if that's like a um, good measuring stick. But like, why are you getting into an argument with my mods, man? If my mods say, uh, say jump, and you ask how high, god damn it! My mods say dance, and you say tango? Or the waltz? My mod say eat an egg, you ask. Raw, cooked or baked? <laughs> so no, James, you are uh, in the right there. But uh, well, let's keep it easy on the banning. Let's not get into details. Don't get into rational arguments on the internet. Is a big tag. <laughs> nah, I'm not a big believer in bands. Where are we supposed to argue then, outside of never heard of that realm? In real life! Just argue in real life! I uh, spit said that about as fucked up as I was able to. Oh man, moving up in the world. Yeah, apparently the Caradel tribes decided to rise up, even though they had no reason to. In fact, there's a surprisingly large amount of um, rebel factions in my realm. I did not quite expect that, to be honest. Bachmanis, if you don't get off my shit, I'm breaking your shit, right? I hope you do understand that. These Caradal tribes, though, I did not see that coming. Like, at all. Like, at all. Look, they're everywhere! Look at where they are, though! Look! Wait. Those are mine. Those are mine. That's one, two, three, four. Five, six. Six spawns of 30 plus guys. Fuck off, mate. How expensive would it be to accept your demands? 30% autonomy everywhere. Yeah. Can't be us dealing with that. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not gonna deal with that. No, you can't say Portugal. That's totally banned. Like, beyond recognition banned. Like, that word is, word is so banned. Like, like, free speech is nice and everything. But... Now we get into the interesting part of 
what you can say and what you should say. Like, sure, you can say all those things. But should you? And then, even if you do say all those things, what does it add? Like, like, what, where's the added value, right? Like, what are you going to achieve? Except causing a riot in my chat. Stinky Fart 6900 is still banned. Yeah, well. Unbanned. Stinky Fart. Can't believe I'm even typing this. Oh, Epicarus is also banned? Jesus, what have you guys been doing? <laughs> it's not Portugal, it's that place to the west of Spain. Exactly. Well, I'm black, and I see. <laughs> uh, see, this is why I don't want to get into these kind of things. Just ends up bad. Unban all? No, man, I'm gonna get so many chat bots if I do that. Fuck that bullshit. Not unbanning all. We need an intervention. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Didn't I just do that? Didn't I just intervene? That's literally what I just did. I, like, literally tabbed out, took the effort to type a couple of letters. And now look where we are. How long will it take approximately to get to 1 million stack? 100 years. Might be a whole lot sooner than that though. Let's not take any land off of him, he's not a co-belligerent. I do want to take out as many forts as, I, as I'm allowed to because of this fucking Bahmanis idiot. Fucking... Derping all of this crap out. Making it all. Yeah. So here we go. We need to purge some mods. <laughs> no, I don't pur purge mods. Said when the mod, mod asks, jump. Says jump. Mods don't ask jump. Mods say jump. You ask how high. It's a really simple philosophy. Oh, hold on, I may need to buy down more exhaustion. I may have just fucked up there. We're fine, we're fine, we're over 100%, but we're fine. I'm sure.
And now we're back to Bernie Sanders. Amazing. <laughs> No, so bad, Edward. Oh, come on, stinky fart. Use your head. Does Mexican you still have subs? Does Mexican. Um, do, do I still have a Mexican sub? <laughs> do I still have Mexico? Yeah, yeah I do. over extension is not fun but if you're a tangry horde with humanism it's not even that bad just gonna sit back wait for it to end and uh, we'll be right on the money glory did you ever play with pate no no i haven't my colonial nation am i still subsidizing it no 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 i've stopped that a while ago Now we're talking. Hmm. Why is socialism viewed as, as a bad thing in America? Because there are multiple reasons. Oh, I forgot to raise this province? Shit, dude. Oh, I forgot to raise all of these provinces. Oh, what? Really? No, just these three. I was about to say, oh, that was going to make me so sad, but I just forgot those three. Alright, anyway, let's uh, check the coalition map mode. 